Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, I do have an apology to make because it has been a very long time. I think it's either three weeks, maybe even a month. But you've probably noticed that the background is different, which may give you a clue as to why I have been a little bit AOL at the moment. <laughs> um, we have actually moved, but we haven't just moved house, we've actually moved location. So we're now actually living down in Brighton. So um, I've moved, well, transferred to a different branch um, from my job and we've changed location and moved into a much bigger house. So we were living in a little coach house and we're now in a lovely three bedroom house. So our time has been completely taken up with so much change and just getting everything sorted. So I do apologize for the absence. Um, and it is feeling a little strange being sat in front of a camera again, but I am excited to film a video. So I hope you guys are all well. I hope you're all keeping safe. Um, and today I'm really excited to be doing a brand, well, actually I'm doing a video on a brand, I've, I don't know why, but I've never actually used any of his products. And that is Mitchell. So made by Mitchell. So I decided to purchase the Head in the Clouds palette um, so I noticed that they actually had a 40% off. Um, I think it's still, I think it is still live at the moment. So definitely go and check it out. But I just thought this palette looked insane. I, like I said, I don't know why I've never bought anything from him um, before, but I definitely will be making future purchases. Um, I've been checking out his page and everything like that. And I actually have tried doing a makeup Monday, um, the most recent one. So it's makeup by Mitchell. Monday by, Mondays by Mitchell, week nine that I've done. Um, by the time that you watch this, it would be over and he'll be ready to start week 10 tomorrow. So by the time you watch, yeah, by the time you watch this, or you'll probably be watching this on Monday actually, so I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so I purchased this. Um, I have had a really sneak try of the orange. Um, so the uh, Mama Marmalade and Sunburn. So I did have a sneak peek of those. Um, very nice and very pigmented. So really impressed so far. But I haven't used any other colours. So I'm excited to try these with you. Um, so before... Sorry guys, my camera completely died on me. <laughs> so as I was just about to say, before we get into it, if you haven't subscribed already, please do hit the subscription button. It really helps my channel grow and I really do appreciate it. And as always, after you've watched the video, please feel free to like and comment down below and let me know what you think of it. Okay, let's get to it. Just brought you in a little bit closer so it's easy for you guys to see. So with this palette, um, I think I mentioned, um, or if I haven't, I have had a little play, just a tiny one, um, but only of the oranges. So I haven't used anything else. I have swatched that one as you can probably see, um, just because I need a little bit of a plan what I'm gonna do, because I'm not gonna lie. There's so many times where I haven't planned it and I'm trying to record it, and then I just end up having to retake it about two or three times because I haven't thought it through. So, <laughs> I think what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna use these greens here, um, and then maybe mix it in with yellow, or maybe in this pink down here. I want it to be really bright, something that I don't always do, um, and just kind of really go for it, just have some fun, because these are extremely fun colors, um, and I don't wanna sort of just stick with one or two cards. I want to try and push the brown trees a little bit. So let's see where my colours take me, shall we? <laughs> um, also, sorry if it's really echoey. Like I am aware that there is it's quite a it's a in I'm in my dining room basically and we haven't got enough furniture to fill it yet. So it is quite echoey. <laughs> so sorry if that's a little bit annoying. I will try and work something out on how to fix that and make it a little bit um, a little bit better for you guys to watch. So I think what I'm gonna go in with, oh, I don't know. I might just start with Cockpit and then maybe go in with Night Nympho, which is here, and then M Marmalade, um, and then maybe even UFO Ho, which is this one up here. The name of the colors I absolutely love. Like they just crack me up, so I really like that. But I really do love this um, pastel lilac color, which is called Lucid, so. We'll see. I'm going to start with this because I'm really, really drawn to that one. And that's like, I think that's one of my favourite colours. So we'll go in with that one. So, oh, I'm nervous. Guys, I'm really out of practice with this. So let me just let me use that brush and use this one. I feel, oh, this is so strange. I do feel quite nervous. So I'm just going to 
start in and yeah, they come out really easily I'm just gonna build it so I just want it to be like fun so let's just bring this out a little bit just gonna play around with colors and just see what I can create yeah, but no, guys, I live in Brighton now. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> it's about an hour and a half away from where I grew up and where we were living. But Rich is originally from here. So um, we decided to make the move. Um, and lucky enough, I could transfer but stay with my company, which was really good. So, yeah, a lot of change has been going on. And I'm somebody that doesn't do well with change. <laughs> so i was freaking out quite a lot recently so but now i feel much more settled which is lovely and it does feel like home now so it's just it is nice okay so i think i'm gonna start right okay i'm gonna go there i don't even know what shape i'm doing so i said that i've got a bit of a plan but i don't really i just know what sort of colors i want to use so i'm now gonna go in with night nympho which is the pink I think I'm gonna place it here. I just want to. I'm just gonna do a lot of blending, but I don't want it to be your typical smoky shape, um, because it is such a fun palette. I want to kind of just have just have fun with it. Literally just that, and just see where it takes me. But no, let me know, guys. Like, what makeup brands you've been really enjoying at the moment? um maybe what makeup you haven't been enjoying at the moment i'm so intrigued to know like i'm always on the lookout for like new things to try um and test out and things um i know in my last video that i created i was like oh yeah i've got a palette coming um it's by an influencer and all this stuff um that one will still come but um <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to do like a my favourites, not a February favourites because we are in March now. I am aware of that. Um, so I'm just going in with marmalade. So I'm just placing them first and then I'm going to sort of work into blend. Um, I think, so yeah, I'm going to do a favourites video just because I've got loads of different bits and bombs that I've been using. I've been really, really enjoying them. So a mixture of like skincare um, and makeup, I think it's going to be. Um, so yeah, I, that will probably be my next video that I'm going to do. But I just really wanted to do this one because I was just, as soon as it came in the post, I was like, I do do it right now. So yeah, so keep your eyes peeled for that one. I do love a favourite, so I'm so nosy. I love knowing what other people are trying and using and stuff. Um, so yeah, I may just title it my current favourite or yeah, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think I should call it. So let's just go back over with the orange. This is really reminding me of that storybook. Did you ever guys <laughs> read the, what was it? The elephant, you know, like the patchwork elephant. <laughs> it's really reminding me of that right now. So bring that over. I'm just gonna go in with UFO Ho, which is the yellow, just to sort of transition the orange into the green can you see that it's completely me doing that has completely got rid of the strict line that was um dividing the orange and the green as soon as you mix a yellow into it it just literally gives that flawless sort of transition so that's like a little tip if anyone's ever wanting to do like a rainbow look and you're just like, I just can't seem to blend them very nicely. Um, that's a really good tip. Blend or yellow into orange and green. And it just re really transitions really nicely. So there's no real, like, strong blue apart from Eclipse. But it's a, um, like, a shimmer metallic. So it's not going to blend. Um seamlessly it's gonna look a little bit patchy so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use the purple color um just to transition it a little bit so it may be a little bit more divided just because it's a stronger color but i'll do my best to blend them all together i 
And then bring that up and then put the green back in. There isn't too much fallout either with this, which is nice. But no, this would be like a really, it seems quite fitting now that I live here. This would be like a brilliant like pride look. Like how fun is that? I didn't even mean to do this on purpose. I was just like, oh, I'll just play around. I want to use loads of colours. Let's see what I can do. Um, but no, that would be really cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to also use the yellow to go down. So there is no red in here either. So I'm just going to use the yellow to bring down into the pink too. Um... Yes, there's no lighter colours. Actually, I do have the lilac that I could use to transition. I've just realised that. Okay, so I've just... Yeah, that's better. Can you see that it's gone over a little bit better? So I do that. I think that orange needs to be a little bit more. I'm just going to dampen it a little bit, like the brush that I'm using. Just because I feel like the orange is getting a bit lost. So I'm going to choose that as like my um, corner colour, my inner corner, because I do notice that there's an orange shimmer called Golden Hour, which looks really nice. Um, so I do that. I just want them all to be a little bit standy outy. If that's even a word. Right, let's just go over the pink again. Pink. another tip that i do is that like i'll have the pink there and then the other side i'll have the lilac so i'm literally swapping as i'm going so you'll probably notice that i'm doing that um because it gives like and again it's like easy sleep uh, sleep line <laughs> seamless transition um that's what i find easiest and i'm just going in with the darker color and then yellow and the transition And I just need to tidy up here so it's a little bit more line. Be right back. And I'm back. Oh, and I'm very zoomed in. That's better. So I've just literally tidied that up a little bit and just brung it out. Um, so I'm just going to go over and just sort of bring that out a little bit. But I love that. So I'm just going to go over with, so this is the brush that I use using yellow. So I'm just going to go around the orange just to soften it a little bit. And then the brush I used, the green, just going to soften that a bit as well. Just using the Bora Bora Blue. Around it soften off the edges lovely so now what i think i'm going to do is i'm just gonna underneath i think mm, do i want to use golden hour in the corner it's a very pretty color isn't it i might just put that in the put that <laughs> pop that in the corner and um, so just using an end of one of my brushes i'm just gonna put it in there Oh wow, that's lovely. That really livens it up. Nice, I really wanna put a, a flick on this. I'm gonna do that. Just thinking what should I do underneath? Should I just go light underneath, do you reckon? Maybe not necessarily mirror what I've done. I think I'm going to go in with Bora Bora Blue. Just underneath, just maybe brighten up the eye. There's so much going on on top. But sometimes it's nice to have something a little bit lighter going on. I'm just I'm blind as a bat, guys, so... Do you see what I mean? Like it just makes it a little bit more brighter. Whereas I think if I went underneath with the pinks, um, it would instantly make my eye feel smaller. Now I quite like that. Nice. 
Perfect. So I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna do my eye line. I'm just gonna use a black liquid eyeliner, just my Soap and Glory one. Um, so yeah, just using my trusty Super Cat Soap and Glory eye line. So what I'm gonna do is just very quickly put it across. I've just remembered guys, I have no idea where my eyelashes are. So it's probably gonna be an eyelash free one, sorry. I've just realized there. So put them in, do you ever do that thing where you're like, right, I'm gonna put these in somewhere safe so that I know where they are, so that when I need them, I won't struggle. I do that with everything and I've done that with my eyelashes. I've done that with that and like all of my like gems and my gold leaf and everything. So all of like my accessories are somewhere in this house in a box that is yet to be unpacked. So that's kind of irritating. I like that. Yeah, no, I am a fan. Perfect. I felt like I couldn't breathe while I was doing that. So I'm gonna put some mascara on. The mascara that I still hate. I hate it. Um, but I'm still on the band of not buying anything new. Oh, one thing I was actually gonna use is I was gonna use, is it, what's it called? Clouded, which is this lovely shimmery white. I'm just gonna put that as like a highlight um, under my arch. So let me just find an actual clean brush. These brushes are stained from um, the time I basically, um, no, I'm lying. They're stained from me doing my Makeup by Mitchell week nine look. Um, I basically turned myself into an African sunset, as you do. Um, I'll pop my Instagram handle um, in the corner so that you can go check it out. And if you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, please do so. I want all you guys to see all my work. So um, I don't always make a video for every single look I do. So a lot of them are always over on my Instagram. So please go and give me a follow and I will follow you back. Um, but yeah, no, I turned myself into an African, um, you know, sunset is what I've done. So literally body art on my chest and my face. So yeah, please go have a look at that. It took me forever and my brushes and my skin was stained. So that was fun. <laughs> Um, but yeah, go and have a little look at that. Um, annoyingly, I should have told you, I should have done this video beforehand so that you guys could have gone and looked at my picture that I created for it um, before the winner actually gets announced. But some people's creations are insane. How their minds like work just fascinates me and how they come up with things. Um, people, like, there's so many talented people out there, it's crazy. Um, with the Hourglass Mascara, I actually use my Maybelline Lash Sensation, so I switch between the two, um, just to help with the clumpiness that the Hourglass Mascara gives. But now, please tell me which mascaras you guys love. Um, like, I keep hearing mixed reviews on these at the Skyline or um, Mascara. I'm sure it's Maybelline. It's either Maybelline or L'Oreal. Um, I hear people raving about it, but then I hear some people say it didn't do anything for them. So I don't want to buy another mascara that doesn't work for me. So obviously I get everyone's different, but please tell me what your favourites are. Lovely. So I'm going to go off camera be right, and match this eye up and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, I am back. So I think these are evenly matched, so I hope they are. Um, so I'm just gonna finish off with putting some lipstick on. I'm just gonna put um, like a nude through, so it's the Nick Chapman um, lipstick by MAC. So I'm just gonna pop that on. Just because there's a lot going on in my eyes. Um, and let me zoom you the other way. 
just to sort of show you so obviously this isn't anything you'd be well you may do um <laughs> where on your you know pop to the shops you never know but this is just something fun i really wanted to do something that's bright colorful that really represents the palette really well and um, i loved using this like i actually had fun using it <laughs> um which i can't say that i have probably had the same experience using any other palettes i love my vive palette but this was just really fun this was just playing around with colors and just sort of remembering for me anyway remembering why i like makeup because you can literally just create whatever you want um i love the blending of it they're really pigmented and they were just easy to use um like i mentioned this would be perfect for like a festival pride and you know with the new rules in place it sounds like pride is going ahead so if you are planning on going this would be a perfect look to do add some you know gems and things and then even bring like a fun color down onto the cheeks like you could use like a nice vibrant pink or even like an orange or something like that um but no and definitely add some glitter so yeah this is just a fun look um but yeah no let me know what you guys think um if you do want me to try any other colors in the palette if you are considering maybe buying it but you just you're not too sure and there's what color in particular you think you know of, comment down below i'm more than happy to do another video using that palette like i said i had a lot of fun using it so i'm more than happy to do another video but i hope you guys enjoyed it please let me know your thoughts um like i mentioned at the beginning of the video if you haven't subscribed already please do hit the subscription button it really really helps out my channel um and i really want it to grow this year i love it to just grow a little bit um every subscriber means a lot so please feel free to do so and comment and like um and you know share with your friends and family if you like as well that would be lovely um but no it's been feels really good to be back you know talking with you guys and uploading and just creating just a fun looks again so um i'm definitely going to do another um monday by mitchell because i really enjoyed doing that just you know trying something different not doing your typical everyday makeup and especially at the moment like you know there isn't much to do so if you guys um want something creative to do um obviously you're already gonna know who he is um but yeah no definitely consider doing the mondays by mitchell i think that's really good to you know people that want to step outside their comfort zone and get a little bit more experimental with makeup it would be an excellent thing for you guys to do so definitely consider it if you haven't done so already but i will love you and leave you now but yeah just one last look at it all Sorry I didn't have any lashes. That would have really finished it off lovely. But I really like it. So I will speak to you guys soon. My next video, like I said, will be like my favourite. So make sure skincare and beauty. Um, that is the same thing. Skincare and makeup, sorry. Um, so make sure you don't miss that. Um, and I'll be back to regularly uploading. Um, I'm going to be... I'm going to try and do two a week. May, it might just take a little bit of time to get to that. So it might just be one a week just while we get the house all ready um because i'm doing a little bit of painting so you know that takes some time but please do stick around but thank you guys for watching and i will speak to you guys soon thank you bye